Good afternoon. Today is the 12th of April, and it's time to talk about something that you probably should see more of on uh, my channel, and that is the process of used car buying, specifically from the company Kazoo. There's been a BBC Watchdog investigation into some cars that they sold which haven't quite been up to scratch and uh, I'd like to discuss that with you. Kazoo is a company that's been around for I think three or four years now. They are an entirely online company. They don't have, as far as I understand it, physical showrooms where you can um, have a look at their cars. The whole idea is they take all the sort of hassle out of used car buying and they bring the car to your doorstep. If you're not happy with it, then you can uh, return it within a certain period. And uh, they claim to have a 300 point check system in place. Now, the BBC Watchdog investigation, uh, confusingly, Watchdog is now part of the one show. So it's not quite what it is when, you know, when I used to watch it back in the sort of late 90s, early 2000s. But anyway, uh, last week, 6th of April, they uh, broadcast a segment with the wonderful Matt Allwright, who used to be on BBC Road Trailers. I used to very much enjoy watching that um, when it was a separate programme. But he was uh, actually looking at this whole situation and seeing where it hasn't quite worked out. The idea... Um, that, uh, you know, every used car can be made to be perfect is obviously completely wrong. It's a used car after all. And this is what I always tell clients because, you know, this is this is my, my job, actually. I find cars for clients, mainly used cars. And, you know, if you don't ever see the car before it's delivered to your door, you have to have somebody who's actually checked that properly for you. Uh, this is why I generally take clients with me and, and look at them, make sure they can sit in the car, have a test drive, that kind of thing. So if you, you don't want to go down that route, you haven't got the time or you just don't want to, then a service like Kazoo or Cint, which is uh, owned by BC Automotive, um, Kazoo is, is not owned by them, although they used to use their checking services uh, until, I think, uh, early 2021. Uh, so Kazoo have, have, you know, have spent a lot in a lot in advertising you see the adverts on the internet and uh, on television and you kind of see their the lorries going around delivering everywhere so they've really put their name out there and tried to appeal to a, a whole new sort of type of customer who necessarily doesn't know much about cars we're, we're not talking about the sort of average viewer on my channel here we're talking about someone who doesn't know anything about kind of cars and doesn't want to pay for a new one which is perfectly understandable um but does want something that's going to be okay uh, you know the typical range of these would be for maybe sort of three to four thousand pounds upwards i think but the uh the idea is that uh you know you get your car delivered to you you don't uh um see it beforehand it, it comes to your door and you know obviously you can you know, if it's uncomfortable or something or you don't like the colour or whatever, you, you can change it for something else within a specified period. That's all fine, but when it goes wrong, it seems like it does It does actually go wrong um, and this 300-point inspection isn't quite there. I'm very blessed to actually have an article from the Parker's website in front of me here which also talks about this and it expands on it a little bit. So the... Uh, the segment on the one show showed three people, one uh, who bought a Ford Ka, one who bought a BMW, and one who bought an MX-5, and the various problems that they'd had since uh, their car had been delivered by Kazoo. First lady who bought the Ford Ka, which is the, the Mark II one based on the Fiat 500, uh, she had a problem with uh, the gearbox mount, and then um, the exhaust just snapped entirely in half when she was driving along. Now, Kazoo did fix um the uh the, the, the gear the gearbox mount um but they then returned the car with that problem with the exhaust and um 
they did actually swap the car. For, uh, I don't know. It wasn't a swap. It was a. Um, they, they were they were they were yeah, allowed to, to return the car and gave the seven hundred pounds as a goodwill gesture. So we're not actually talking about bad customer service here. In a, in a way, the next uh, the next gentleman had a BMW and they they uh, actually not changed the brake discs when they should have done, and they were worn right well below the minimum standard for an MOT. And again, Kazoo sorted this out. The third uh, situation was a gentleman who bought an MX-5. It was one of the uh, the ND models, which is the current generation. Uh, I think it was a 17 plate from memory. And he had padding missing in the headrest, which is really bizarre. I don't know how that could have happened. As somebody actually took the padding out of the car. And also he had an issue where the car was sort of going from side to side on, um, on, on the road. Um, and sort of weaving him in out of lanes and the lights going off like traction control. Now, Kazoo actually replaced that um, white MX-5 with a grey one. Uh, which the, the grey one is an RC model. You can sort of see it on um, the, the, you know, the, the clip and BBC iPlay if you've got access to that on a, a one show from 6th of April. Um, but the new car, the, uh, the grey one, actually had a problem with the roof. The roof drains hadn't cleared properly and water sort of coming into the cabin. Again, Kazoo, uh, you know, sorted that out for him. So we're not really talking about the customer service. We're talking about this 300-point um, check procedure. One of the things you can do if, if you, you know, go to a, a dealership, you can drive the, the car generally. You can have a look at it. You can go underneath and that sort of thing. I'm in no way sort of saying that, you know, I am a replacement for Kazoo. I'm not making this video because, you know, the services that I offer particularly. I'm, I'm, I'm making it because I'm interested in this particular scenario of, of buying a car online through Kazoo or Cinch or whoever. There's a very well, well um, uh, kind of um, made video on the Chops Garage channel which talks about the relationship between BCA Automotive, um, Cinch, and We Buy Any Car, because they're all owned by the same company, and they will pass cars between themselves. Now, Kazoo's not quite like that. They used to use uh, BCA's um, inspection services until 2021, when they bought uh, a, um, a company called SFS, uh, which uh, kind of does you know internal checks. And according to this Parker's uh, article, that's actually quite a good company. The process seems to be quite good. So I don't know what's exactly happened since uh, the company was bought a year ago by Kazoo. Now, the 300-point checks are not being offered to the customers. The gentleman who bought the Mazda MX-5 asked for a copy of the inspection on the first car, if it was a 17-plate one, a white one, and he was not able to have one. Um, the lady who bought the Ford car wasn't able to have one. The thing is, is that, you know, uh, in, um, manufacturers with a used car um, program do offer multi-point checks. Uh, Jack and Andre, for example, there's a 165-point check. Even Cinch themselves, um, who are owned by BCA, they have a 225-point um, inspection list that you can sort of look at and see what they identify on each car. Now, some of them uh, don't actually apply to every car. I mean, obviously... If if I have a car that's got rear um, manual windows and it says check rear electric windows, and of course that's not going to apply, it's that sort of stuff. But if Kazoo won't allow anyone to see the 300 point inspection sheet, which is it would make it the most comprehensive um, used car inspection I've ever seen of this type, if it was, because no one else's is as comprehensive as this then what's the point of having the inspection? Clearly, there have been cars which have been missed and, you know, they're doing quite well, to be honest, to kind of um, offer a compensation or fix it or exchange the car for something else if the customer's not happy. But it just sort of calls into question for me, is it really kind of a good idea to let somebody else do this? Or is it best for you to find somebody else yourself, I don't know, a mechanic, someone who knows more about cars, and go there yourself and have a look. Isn't that better? I don't know. I mean, you know, I'd be interested to hear some of your 
comments on whether you've actually bought a car through something like Central Kazoo yourself, something unseen. Obviously, in the pandemic, this became very, very, very common for people to buy used cars in this way. And the higher prices we're now paying for used cars, surely we should expect sort of the best from a company like Kazoo if they could keep going on about how great the service is. But then they are found out to have things which are lacking. So although the, the customer service is, is that's some of the best I've actually seen from a, a company in that way in terms of sorting it out, what's the point of actually giving people confidence that the checks you do are comprehensive when they're not and you can't see them? Anyway, that's quite enough about that. Thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. There's also a link to my website in the description below if you wish to hire me to find a car for you, because after all, that's what I do. Thank you ever so much indeed once again.